Hey everybody, John here, and I hope you can all hear me. Are we, are we good? Somebody give me verification that we are live and that somebody can hear me. Okay. This is, uh, I, I'm in control of everything right now. Can James give me verification? Thumbs up? We don't know. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to go out on a leap of faith that we are live. And uh, the reason why I'm kind of wondering is because I'm all by myself, so to speak. James has gone home and we are, uh, I guess, trying to control things. He is running the, I guess, YouTube. Beth is running Facebook Live. Jennifer is here right now. And Hi, yeah, hopefully we can hear her. And um, I think we are okay. Do we have any verification? Can you find out, Jennifer? Okay, I heard something go off, so hopefully we're all good, guys. Uh, anyways, we are here because we are going to be doing a, a special Facebook Live, and we're going to be bringing in a very special guest, and it is going to be Linda Rayburn. And just so uh, for the you guys who don't know Linda, she is, I guess, one of the admins and moderators in, what, in our uh, groups, our Hatch Facts group, and in our uh, embroidery, machine embroidery, and digitizing made easy groups. But she's not just a moderator. She is actually a very, I guess, uh, instrumental uh, part of our group because she not only helps people, but she is incredibly creative and talented. And she has just given people incredible ideas uh, as far as things to do with their software. So I'm going to bring Linda in and let's see if we can do this right now. Hey, are you there? Here. Can you hear me? I can hear you. You're okay. the first person I can hear. So uh, hopefully hopefully we're live because I have no clue. And usually James and Jesse. Uh, Jennifer is here, by the way. Linda says hi. Hey, Jennifer. Here's the thing. I said Linda said hi, but actually you didn't say hi, Linda. And I was a little bit nervous going into this whole thing because we've had a couple of little discussions leading up to this live that uh, Linda has been a part of and Jennifer has been a part of and I've been there. And um, it, it, as far as I'm concerned, it got a little concerning because you guys started comparing the the husband comparison cards. You know what I mean? Like I almost got moved out of the conversation and it was one of those things where it was like, well, my, my husband uh, does this. Oh yeah, my husband. And <laughs> like, uh, I'm still here guys. Um, can, it was all good. Can, okay, yeah, Jennifer wishes you could chime in. Are you not able to hear anything over the, no? Okay, anyways, uh, Jennifer is going to be, I guess, uh, fielding some questions as they might come in. Uh, and I am going to see if I can get the chat up. Oh yeah, okay, we have people here, so I guess we are oh, live. Um, but anyways, uh, Linda, I did give you a little bit of an introduction. Actually, I'll hide this one because you're there. That way we don't see you twice, right? Okay, so um, I did give you a bit of an introduction and you have been a part of our education and our groups, I guess, almost since the beginning, right? Pretty, pretty much so, yeah. Yeah, I, and I, go ahead. It, it's been fun. Yeah, well, actually, it's kind of a humbling experience for me because I'm a fairly good digitizer and it's kind of what I do best. But it, like any job that you, I guess, do, it becomes a little repetitive and you get you get, you know, into the same cycle or circle of doing the same thing over and over again. And uh, when you guys came on board and uh, when you started getting creative, because I, I came up with some of these, you know, crazy font ideas and I maybe had a little bit of a concept, but then all of a sudden I was just blown away because you were doing things that I hadn't even thought of. And that's when I knew that it was kind of one of those magical moments. And uh, if you wouldn't mind, t tell us a little bit about yourself and how you kind of got into embroidery because i know this isn't kind of something that you've been doing for a super long time right no I, I started probably like most people my grandmother taught me how to sew so i was i would learn how to hand sew and then it always became a passion i had the notre dame sisters on saturday you'd go and learn to sew on a treadle sewing machine and i've always sewn ever since i was very small so it that naturally progressed into a business where i designed and 
create custom window treatments. And so you can see some of my commercial equipment behind me, but I wanted to make it a little bit um, more creative and add embroidery to what I was doing. So I bought a, a, a combo uh, sewing machine, embroidery machine, and it, it came with some software and I could do, um, you know, different monograms and things like that for pillows, but I kind of started stumbling on these really beautiful um, Victorian and vintage monograms. And I don't know if anybody you in the group that has seen some of my work or my passion for monograms, I just kind of go crazy for monograms. Give us so, some thumbs up guys, if you have. <laughs> yeah, please do. Cause I, I, I don't know, if you've seen me in the group, you know that I, I love monograms. So there was the software that I had wasn't really great. So I started doing a little Google search and then lo and behold, I came up with this, this this little gem right here on okay, Amazon. Yep. John wrote this book back in 2007. So if you want to see him with dark hair, there's a picture in the back. But okay, um, thank thank you. Uh, are yeah. you able to hear anything yet, Jennifer? Yes, we're good. Oh, she's delayed. Okay, this is even better because Jennifer's no. delayed, so she can't even <laughs> chime in on this. But yes, my hair has turned very gray since that point. <laughs> so, but I, I really enjoyed the book and wanted to learn more. So I googled you, and at the time, I believe hacks just came out and so you had this facebook group and you were a hatch reseller and it, there was a 30-day free trial so i thought okay i'm going to sign up for the trial but then to learn more you had a facebook group and so i wasn't involved in facebook whatsoever so i decided to join and after about a week of using the hatch trial i just fell in love with it because it just the user interface was just so easy to use that i bought it right away so I just started sharing what I was learning from the program in the Facebook group. And it's just kind of how it all evolved. And then you came up with these great ESA fonts and glyphs. And so I had to take my little twist on them and, you know, see how, how far you can really go with them. And yeah. And, and I, I'll, I'll add that you are really, really twisted. No, just kidding. It, it <laughs> you've, you've put some incredible twists on them and that's, that's where it just amazed me. Now, if I could go back a couple of steps, because you had mentioned that you had bought a machine, a, a crossover mm -hmm. machine. And I always like to ask this because usually that's what happens when people get into embroidery, they buy their first machine. Uh, was it a, uh, you know, kind of an entry level machine and have you moved up since then? I, it, it was, um, middle of the road. It was a Viking at the time. And then I switched to, and I have a Janome single needle and I do have a ZSK on order. So it's coming in probably the next few weeks. So I'm really excited to have a whole new. <laughs> okay. That, now, now I know you are truly addicted. Crazy experience, so, um, yeah. Cause, cause uh, the, those are obviously commercial machines, but that, mm -hmm. it's kind of funny because all the years that I've been doing events and I see people at, uh, you know, I'd see them at a dealer's event and they would usually have these sales on, you know, the, the biggest brand or machine mm -hmm. bundle that they had. And a lot of the, the people that were there were maybe new and they would be, you know, saying, well, I'm just thinking about getting an, an embroidery. And it's kind of funny because I never, ever, had to talk people into buying a high-end machine at one of those events mm -hmm. and and the dealer didn't even have to do it do you know do you know who actually convinced them more than anybody else no all the other embroiderers that were there because they had all been down that road before mm -hmm. where they started out with you know like a a you know starter machine that had mm -hmm. you know at the time a four by four hoop or something and then they went up to the next level and the next level. And it was kind of funny because I'd sit there and I'd listen to these customers talking to new embroiderers and they'd all be saying, you know what, just do yourself a favor and get, you know, something a little higher up right away. Because in a matter of two or three months, you're going to wish you had. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but yeah, you've gone full out then if you are, are moving up to a ZSK. Yeah, keep my, keep the challenge going. See, it'll, it'll yeah. be a scary new adventure, but I'm, I'm looking forward to trying all those new hoops and, and having a bigger embroidery field. So for my mind, yeah, I can, <laughs> I do, they're, they're quite large. So that I can just fun. imagine the size of the monograms we're going to see know. in the group. Now, now for those of you who aren't familiar with our groups, if, if you are part of our groups, give us, you know, some thumbs up and some hearts and stuff. We, we really do try hard. I, I had no idea personally what was involved when we started these groups and it is much bigger than I am. And I think it's much bigger than any of, because we, we have a great group of uh, admins and moderators and, and everybody has their strengths Goody. and talents. Hi, and, Ina. Hey, yeah. Christine. Hi, Karen. 
Yeah. Okay. They, we didn't forget anybody. Shout out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but everybody is incredible and talented, and they all have their their strengths. And it is a job in itself. I mean, just trying to do this. And do you remember how big the uh, Hatch Group was when you got involved? By any chance? I, uh, maybe, maybe not even a thousand. And what are we okay. up to? I, well, it. that's a perfect segue because I set you up for that. Uh, we are actually, <laughs> we, we do have two groups for you guys who uh, don't know that we have groups. And all you have to do is, uh, you know, go to our Facebook groups and ask to join. There is some little, you know, prerequisites because they they are business groups. I got to be honest. I, I am a family owned and operated business, so we do have some rules and guidelines. But we do have a machine embroidery and digitizing made easy group, which does cover, you know, anything embroidery related and any software. Because I do teach on, you know, not just Hatch, but we teach on other software programs as well. But that one's actually hits uh, seventeen thousand one hundred people, which is awesome. And they're from all over the world. That's what I love about these groups is that yeah, I mean everywhere. The commonality. Yeah. They come in, ask questions, and if you're a beginner digitizer or just brand new to machine embroidery, there's always somebody that's so nice to jump in and answer a question. And we always tell people, no question is a stupid question because everybody, like I said, starts from somewhere. So you have yeah. to, to learn. And so the new people. It's, an, it's fun to see them start to answer the new, new people. So everybody's just kind of learns and feeds off of each other. And it's just a positive, creative place in both groups just to keep yeah. learning more about embroidery and being creative and, and makes the world a whole lot smaller when there's people. We, all over that for sure. In. And we, we really do try our best. And we, I mean that as all of us with trying mm -hmm. to keep the group focused and friendly because it, it is true that, you know, we, we forget sometimes that we all started at the same place, which is the beginning. Mm -hmm. I mean, even me, I, I was born into this, but I didn't come out of the womb digitizing. You know, I, I started training for it for and trained for many years to become good at what I do. And I remember when I first started teaching people as an educator, I, I wasn't a really good teacher at the beginning because I was going almost way above people's heads without knowing it because I'd already been, you know, doing it for 10 years or you know more and i had to take a step back and realize that people are some people are starting out and they really don't know what a fill stitch is or they don't really know what density is mm -hmm. and and uh being kind in our group is is like you said there's there's no such thing as a irrelevant or a stupid question because we all started at the beginning so uh, yeah. and i think we do have a really good group with regards to people trying to respect that Yes. And, and that's kind of how, like, I, I don't know, give me the thumbs up of anybody that's tried one of my hatch tips. I try to, and they're all, they're usually random, but I, we, when I come across a, a great technique or just how to use a tool in hatch, then I try to create um, a little step-by-step -step, um, instructions on how to use that tool. And Karen is really great about keeping them all in one place yeah, within for sure. the hatch facts group. So, um, Whenever anybody has questions that I read through in the group, I'll try to address those in one of the tips. So I think that's been pretty successful. I think we're up yeah. to 165 hatch tips so far. Yep, there there is a ton of them there. And that's where, again, I, I tried to let people know right from the beginning, we all have our strengths. And you have taught me uh, actually things in the software that I didn't even know it could do. I mean, I, I you know, I hadn't figured it out, but you have gotten into the, I guess, the the nitty gritty of things and, you know, overlapping fonts and just doing incredible things. And uh, those tips, as, as you said, they're all organized in one place. So if you uh, have Hatch and if you want to, you know, see all of those, because there's a huge amount of them, you can mm -hmm. basically go to one place. And I think that we are at, uh, actually, I have it there, 8,100, or sorry, 8,300 oh, members. Awesome. And that is actually just people who do own the Hatch software. And I'm, mm -hmm. I'm kind of proud to say, I think we are the biggest Hatch focus group in the world right now. So. I, I would wholeheartedly agree. Yes. Yeah. We get great um, participation in the group. People, they're there, you know, everybody's in different time zones and, you know, 24 seven, there's always somebody within the group asking a question or posting, you know, what they've created in Hatch or, you know, if they're having a For little sure. troubleshooting issue where, where everybody's there to help. 
Awesome. And if anybody has any questions as we're going through this, Jennifer is sitting by. So uh, the, I think the, the kids are feeding you questions. So if anybody has any questions, just let us know. Jennifer will interrupt us and, and ask them. Uh, the other thing that I did want to let people know is we, we did start something fairly recently. And uh, it is, uh, happens on Fridays from what I remember, mm -hmm. but uh, that has been usually popular. So give us some hearts and give us some thumbs up. But what are the, what's that called again? It's called Friday Triday and all of our admins in our Hatchbacks group each Friday, we try to come up with a, a little project or a tutorial on something that you can learn to be creative with and hatch. And so we have a, a written PDF so you can print that off and follow step by step. And then when you um, try it on Friday, you can post it within the group. And on Monday, Beth goes through and we have got a drawing for a free ESA font. So for, just for participating, giving a new technique a try. Last week, Christine had a, a great um, plaid tutorial that was focusing on pathing and it's just fun to see everybody's take on on what they learn or you know if you might be a beginner you're just learning that tool or some people that are more seasoned they, they put their own little creative spin on it so it, it's just a great way to just showcase a little feature but each friday it's become really really popular and it's it, they're fun to do so if anybody yeah. has any ideas of things they'd like to learn check out on yeah. fridays in the for sure for sure. And uh, as, as you mentioned, I tried to time it perfectly because you, I think, almost said the word free and I popped up the next slide. And, uh, you know, everybody loves free. So that is something that, that we've kind of uh, come up with. And uh, I'm not going to I'm not going to take any credit for those because it has been all of the admins who have been, mm -hmm. you know, putting that together and, and getting just incredible ideas for everybody to try. So that is really, really cool. Okay, and you've also been working on some other stuff. Now, before we talk about that, though, I do want to let you guys know that uh, I have been doing a ton of fonts since we became an official reseller with Hatch. And uh, I did create ESA fonts. Those are actually fonts only for the uh, Wilcom platform. And it does not company, I guess, their commercial software, uh, certain versions of the Janome software and the Hatch software. But these fonts uh, are object-based fonts that only work within that operating system. So you can't get one of these fonts and put them in another software program and expect them to work because they won't. But I actually uh, started creating ESA fonts like you know well over two and a half decades ago. That's wow. how long Wilcom has been doing this. And I remember creating those fonts because I didn't want to digitize the letter A you know, 300 times a day. Mm -hmm. So rather than having to manually do it, I created my own ESA fonts so that when we would create designs, we just had to type them in and know that they'd be good quality because they were done properly. So when we uh, became a reseller, I started doing fonts again. And I did do some, you know, little things that were different, like putting the minimum uh, size of the letter after the font. So, because yeah, I mean, size does matter with fonts. You, you cannot go too, too small with a given mm -hmm. font, given, you know, how or the nature of the keystroke or how, how, you know, detailed the font is. It can only go so small. Usually going bigger isn't much of an issue as long as you know how to manipulate the font, which that's what you're known for. Um, but we also started doing things called glyphs, which we really started assigning keystrokes to objects like you know, almost little pieces of artwork. And then I, I came up with the idea of doing flexi fills, which is a single flexi. direction type of, of, of font. So I, in my opinion, did the easy part. I created, uh, I think to date, uh, today is when we release the fonts, I believe, but we have 820 different fonts that are available now for the Hatch platform. And we have given away a free font on our, uh, on our site, which is wilcomembroideryfonts.com. I think it was the, the Brittany font. We yeah. gave that away mm -hmm. for years, but we've just recently changed that over. And that's why I wanted to ask people who loves free, because there is a brand new free font that you can download uh, for your Hatch software. And it is this uh, beautiful new ESA monogram font. And uh, what is it called again? It's Victorian? 
Victorian monogram. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I I I uh, don't actually remember all the names. I just dream about them at night. But it, it is kind of a cool two color font, and it uh, right. and this is the the really good part is we not only are giving away this new font absolutely free, which you can go on and register and download, but we have a free lesson that goes with it. And I'll let people just guess. Type in if you think you know who created the lesson. Type that name in right now, because uh, odds are, it is none other than who? It's me. Yay! Okay, so we have a brand new lesson for a monogram towel, and this is really really cool. And I'm going to let you go into a little bit of detail on what you did with this and some of the options that you show. Well, you created this beautiful. Um, brand new font. And so the minimum size on this is 80 millimeters. So of course I had to look at it and said, what in the heck can I do with this just to give it my own twist? So I started breaking the letters apart. So that's the great thing about the ESA fonts is because they're object based, you can manipulate them in different ways. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can take the standard Victorian monogram and, and it's beautiful as is. But then I'm going to show you how to break the letters apart and remove some pieces or add some pieces to create probably five or six different different looks. And then the final portion of the video, I'm going to show you how to um, digitize this towel. It's an embossed towel, and we're going to use the hatch smash um, feature to hold down the nap of the terry towel and and the the fluffy nap around the inside of the letter is going to pop through to create that embossed effect. So it's kind of a lot of info in that video, but I think you'll have fun and it's a kind of a great way to get get to know how to use the ESA fonts and and how versatile they are because I, I love taking them, looking at them, giving a new twist and you know seeing how far you can can go with it. So I hope For you guys sure. have fun with it and yeah the 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 uh, yeah. i guess embossed look is also like a trapunto type look mm -hmm. you could do the exact same thing if it weren't uh you know using terry cloth but you could mm -hmm. actually do it on a sweatshirt and put some exactly. batting behind it and do idea. it as trapunto showing through uh one thing i love about the hatch smash which is uh you know, Hatch's version of a knockdown stitch, uh, but it, it I, I love it because it does follow the contours perfectly, depending mm -hmm. on the, I guess, the defined measurements you imply, and you can have it carve holes, or you could have it do straight edges or curved edges. I mean, there's just so many things to play with within mm -hmm. that feature, but um, been, the, go ahead. There's been a lot of people in the group that have been using the Hatch Smash and showing showing their towels and stuff in the group. So I know a lot of people are familiar with it, but those that haven't given it a try, it, it, it'll be really fun to give this a try with this pretty monogram. For sure. And I, I'm going to actually go over here real quick because I just wanted to show a couple of little things. Uh, number one, if you did want to see the video on our um, YouTube channel, which we are actually, I think, at, uh, what are we at, Jennifer, as far as the amount of people that we have signed up now? Is it, I need to put on my glasses. I think it is 35,900. So if you want to subscribe, we're dying to hit 36,000 subscribers. But if you look at the very first one there, which is right over here, it's create custom monogram. And actually, we've got a nice little link. But that is the lesson, and we've already had 112 views. Yay! Okay, oh, good. so it is a it is a free lesson that you can go and view on YouTube, and I think it's like over 17 minutes long. Mm -hmm. So that is where now, if you want to actually get the font, then what you would do is you would go over to our Hatch software tab, and all of Linda's, I guess. Uh, you know, personalized projects are called personalized projects. So under the Hatch software tab, if you go to personalized projects, you will see that the free uh, Victorian monogram is there and you can view the lesson, which will take you to YouTube, but it will also give you instructions for downloading the ESA font for your software. And that'll be in your classroom. And there is another lesson, which I'm not going to show you right now because we need to bring that actually up on screen. So let me go back over here. 
wow, technology is amazing. And James is going to be so proud of me because I'm doing this all by myself. So Jennifer's smiling over there. Jennifer has been very, very quiet. Is everything okay, Jennifer? There's a delay. Okay, so we're delayed. Which is, is there any questions so far? No? Awesome. Okay. Well, everybody loves free. So I, of course we're getting, I mean, not only are you getting a lots of hearts, Jennifer says, but not only are we giving away a brand new, really nice ESA font, but you're getting an incredible 17 minute lesson that goes with it. So that is, uh, that is, who is Linda? <laughs> okay. Linda's doing, James, yeah, James is, yeah. Okay. Hearts up for Linda. And this is awesome because I think what's going to happen is, and this is my, my ultimate goal. I won't have to do these maybe every week. I could get Linda to do like one every, okay. <laughs> She's like, let's not push it now. <laughs> but, yeah. Baby steps. Yeah. On this <laughs> yeah. Baby steps. But yeah, you are doing a great job. So anyways, this is the uh, new lesson that we have. So the first one is free. But we are uh, doing a bunch of lessons where you can use uh, different ESA motifs and different features within Hatch to create your own custom design. So this pineapple motif lesson, it is for sale. It is $15.95, but I want everybody to kind of understand that all of the lessons that we're going to be doing from this point forward and right now... Uh, Linda, you're the main person who's putting some lessons up. I'm going to try to get some lessons up as well, but I know mine won't be as good as yours, so it's going to be a little bit of a humbling thing for me. But uh, some of them may or may not include ESA fonts. But what we wanted to do to make sure that people always got value for their education, because I, I know there's a ton of free education out there, but I do also think that for good education, uh, there, you know, it is worth something. So we are really, in my opinion, charging a reasonable price, but we are giving a free ESA font with every single lesson. So in this situation, you're getting the actual font that you need to do this project, which is uh, this font right here. It is it the quilter collection. So yeah. those that have been wanting to try to, to use a, the flexi fills, this is a kind of a good introduction to how to look at a flexi fill kind of break it apart and then as you can see really change it up so um you can see the flexi fill at the very bottom right hand corner and you just see that purple outline with with the lines and then i've taken it to this new level with the motifs in, inside yeah so i mean breaking it apart using all your motifs i mean the once you get playing with this stuff there really is no limitations that's that's the amazing part is I would say out of that one collection, which I don't even remember, there's like 40 something different, you know, uh, patterns involved, mm -hmm. but you probably would have millions of options oh, if you, absolutely. you know, so it is really, really cool. So uh, that is available. I know that uh, Jesse or Beth or James are putting up the links for this, but if you do want to try the free lesson and the free font, that's for everybody. Uh, but if you would like to get Linda's, uh, what's it called again? The pineapple. I think I'm calling it the motif, pineapple motif pillow. Yep, that's it. It's the oh, uh, the like filled. That. Yep, it's the the motif filled pineapple pillow. That's what we've officially called it online. Now the good news is this is the. I guess first lesson, or I guess this is technically the second lesson, but I think there's some more that are already, uh, you know, done and going to be available yeah, soon. Right? Some in the works. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I've been uh, trying to uh, twist your arm to maybe try to get us uh, some more as well. So, if, for you guys watching, if you would like Linda to do more of these, and keep in mind reasonably priced lessons with a ESA font included. In reality, if you would minus the $10 for the font, uh, you're getting a lesson from a qualified educator for $5.95. And that, I think, is probably the price of a cup of coffee at Starbucks, if I'm not mistaken. So now uh, the other thing I do want to let you guys know is once these lessons go in your cart, you can watch them over and over again. So you don't have a time limit on how long you have to do the lesson. They will remain in your cart. 
If it is a lesson that does not require an ESA font to do the lesson, then we will give you a credit for a ESA font of your choice. So out of the 820 fonts we have, you'll be able to choose one that you like that you can add to your software. Mm -hmm. Now, so um, here, here it is. Ooh, cool. Hold on, hold on. I need to switch them, oh, some things around. Okay. And I, I'm going to do this. I'm going to bring me on. Oh, hold on. Okay. There we go. There. That's even. There, hold on. Yeah. You know what? I got to get rid of myself. But okay. You can see the details. So there, it's a it's a fun lesson. And like I said, just give the flexi fills a try, and it'll open a whole new creative world for you as far as how to use them and start thinking outside the box for some other projects too. And I'm am I still <laughs> am I still live, John? On screen right now. Okay, there oh, I'm there back. Okay. Yeah. I was big technical <laughs> difficulty. I can see yeah. why Jennifer doesn't want to come on screen. That was. <laughs> okay. Was I on silent? I think I'm live now, though, right? You, you are live. Okay, I am live. Okay. So, anyways, uh, sorry, I was gone there for a minute because I was trying <laughs> to get the next slide ready. Because uh, I guess the question that I had is, if any of you have not tried Hatch before, do you think that giving it a try would be worthwhile, Linda? Oh, absolutely. That's where I am today. By giving that 30-day trial a, a, a run, it was it was so user-friendly. So give the trial a chance, and then you've got the 30-day challenge that can goes along with it, where you have six projects with videos to go along just to kind of familiarize yourself and then of course all the youtube channel videos that you've done mm -hmm. for like the beginner basics and of course our hatch facts group where we answer any and all hatch related questions so we're here to help you along the way so i would definitely give that a try and as well as i did the digitizing dream course when john first started he had you know just level one at the time and then level two on the satin stitch and then level three was on doing all the different fills so education um is will just help you out so much as far as how to use a software but the whys and the you know the theory behind it so for sure for sure well that's that's always been one of my biggest taglines so to speak is that any software program is only as good as the support and education that you know is available for it and uh, we are obviously not the only people. Hatch does an incredible job. I mean, they they include their Silver Academy, uh, you know, pass with the purchase of the software. And as a reseller, uh, what we do, and this is why we, we tell people, please download the trial through our website, Digitizing Made Easy, because when you do, we are tagged as your official reseller. And then if you do decide to purchase the software, and it's optional, obviously, it's a free 30-day trial. But if you do decide to purchase the software, we do have exclusive bonuses that we include on top of the, you know, whatever the sale price is and whatever, um, you know, Hatch does include. And that is standardly been level one of our dream course. So it really gives you, um, you know, the tools so that the software doesn't just become confusing and sit on the shelf. And I, I think that's where a lot of people start feeling frustrated because they, they spend money on software and then they kind of hit a, a bit of a, a roadblock and they don't know how to get past it. So that's, that's really what we have tried to do. And I think we've been pretty successful thanks to your help and everybody else. No, the, the, the education that you offer is is outstanding. And I was one of those people that had software and it was just like, just really struggled with it and I couldn't figure it out. And then Hatch, I'm sure, you know, most people watching today who have tried it would really agree that, you know, once you learn a few of the basics that it's just very user friendly and, you know, the sky's the limit with what you can do with it. I think I think Jennifer has a question. Tina was asking if she has different software that is on the list, what would you suggest? Can she still do the dream course? Uh, if there is different software than what is on the list, uh, I do actually offer, uh, I guess, lessons for 10 different brands. 
If there is one that is not on the list of the programs that I offer, then it would be best if you contacted us and told me which software it is that you own. Because some of them, it's kind of funny because in the embroidery world, there is a couple of developers that do, I guess, white label or make programs for other brands as well. So they can be very similar in some ways. And then there's a couple that I, I unfortunately haven't uh, done education for just because I, you know, it's impossible to do education for every program. Another question, Jeremy? Yep, contact at embroiderylegacy.com and we'll be happy to help, try to help you. I I think you're talking about the versions. Uh, the way Hatch is right now, they are selling only the digitizer module version two. Uh, so version one was the first release. Now they are at version two. So if you haven't upgraded to version two and you currently own version one, I think it's well worth the the money for all of the extra fun tools that you got with it. Mm -hmm. And eventually there will be a version three. There has been no notification. I don't know when it's going to be. It could be uh, six months from now or two years from now. Yes, Jennifer. Betty says she's jealous of how clean Lynn the studio is. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, apparently somebody is jealous about how clean your studio is, Linda. Oh. Well, I did. That. You did force me to clean it, so yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, if you notice, if I were to show any of the outside areas from my camera view, my studio is a mess. I mean, there is samples and paper everywhere. Go ahead, Jen. Uh, with the classes, the pillows, uh, people are asking, what if they already have that on set? Okay. If, uh, if you do want to do the pillow and you already own that, if you purchase the lesson and you do notify us that you already own that font, which will be obviously in your classroom, we will be more than happy to issue you another font credit so you could choose another font that you want in, you know, re to replace it. Uh, you know, obviously this being an online virtual world, we know if you own that font or not. And, but if you already own it, no worries, we'll replace it for you. Yes. Available. Linda is asking, not you, Linda, but another Linda is asking when the pineapple class is available. It is officially available online right now. So you can go to our, our website, Digitizing Made Easy, click on the Hatch tab, and at the very bottom is the projects, and they are all going to be right there. Yes, Jennifer. Susan's asking, will Hatch ever be compatible with Mac without using Parallels? Uh, the question, I guess I don't need to repeat the question because people can hear you. I, okay, I'm not sure if people can hear you either. That would be my technical error, but uh, the question was about Hatch uh, being compatible with Mac. Currently, I would say I have not heard anything that it will be written for a Mac platform, so I can't verify anything one way or the other with that. But uh, Wilcom and Hatch has been traditionally PC-based for the last 40 years, so that might be an indication, but I don't know. That could change too. Any other questions? Awesome. Okay. Well, I, I think actually, let me go to the next slide here. This is the only tricky part, Linda, is I have to try to switch through sides. Okay. Now here is one. Are you, are you okay if you stay with us, Linda, while we're yeah, doing yeah, this? Good. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Cause if you have any other questions, guys, while well, Linda is here with us, please, uh, you know, ask them, but I want to know who wants to win something. So if you want to win, this is the time that you are going to type in the word win. Okay. Uh, we are going to give away a couple of prizes, one on Facebook and one on YouTube. And it's not going to be one of your lessons, Linda, because they're far too valuable to give away, but we're going to give away something else. Um, I know that uh, Mother's Day was, you know, just a little while ago, and we did a really, really cute mommy and me pack. And uh, Father's Day is just around the corner. So, of course, we did something for the dads. And let me just get this next slide up. And there is our cool dad pack. So we actually have a, they are super cute. I actually, they, they're, some of them are a little bit edgy, I guess, you know, compared to some traditional <laughs> designs. Uh, but 
that little cute guy, that's Noah. He's my grandson. It's awesome. I use him for almost all of our, and his brother Eli for all of the advertisements, because at this point I have to pay them in like candy or something. So it's actually pretty reasonable. Uh, and that's Travis in the back. That's, that's uh, my son-in-law, but it says coolest dad by par and they do golf together. So it's pretty cool. But anyways, if anybody is interested in this, this is actually available online as well. If you are a ultimate uh, stash or, or sorry, not ultimate, we, we renamed it since then. But if you are part of our membership where you download designs, these will be a part of your downloads. But if you want to get all 14 designs in this collection, we do have them on sale for $9.95 right now. And I think it'd be like individually $54 if you paid for them individually. And uh, they are really kind of, cool fun designs so um, that is what we are going to give away and i'm just waiting to see if uh does beth and james have a winner or are we gonna hold off on that for a couple more seconds but that's what we're gonna give away is a cool dad pack and i think my uh my favorite one is uh the uh, actually if i gotta put on my glasses but i i love this one uh these puns are armed and dadly because uh, my kids know that. <laughs> so they are pretty cool. And okay, and a couple more slides just so you guys know we do have two webinars coming up. One is only two weeks away, and it is actually our uh, beginners workshop. It's a digitizing hands on workshop, but it is virtual. So you have your you know, digitizing session. And then we give you the lessons to do at your own time, at your own pace. It is a little bit of a compressed version from our three-day work, uh, workshop that we did over the course of three weekends, but it is also more reasonably priced. So if you're thinking about learning how to digitize, this would probably be one thing you want to do. We do two weeks after that have our Puffy Foam 3D Foam we uh, webinar, and that is going to be non-software specific. So you guys will learn all about foam. It is kind of one of the reasons why I'm here today. That bulldog hat won me my first grand prize in 1998. And then uh, the last one is we do thank you guys for joining us. So I know we need to announce some winners. And Jennifer, if we have any other questions coming in last minute, please let me know. Yep, I don't see any other questions. People are liking some of the sayings. Awesome. Yeah, they, they are cute. I know that they, some of them are a little edgy. I was actually on the fence of like, oh, can I really digitize that without offending people? But uh, hopefully, I, hopefully you won't be offended. Awesome. Yeah, the puffy foam one, that one's going to be so much fun. Yeah, and actually, uh, I know I've shown this at most of the other lives that I've done, but this is something that I have been kind of trying and working on for, uh, I guess, on and off for years, was trying to uh, perfect the freestanding foam. So that is something that I pretty, and it is pretty specific that because this is going to be non-software specific for the foam webinar, I am going to be giving a lot of properties, meaning densities, underlays, pull compensation okay. values, uh, how to pinch ends, how to cap ends, uh, things about underlay and to make stuff like this happen. So it is not specifically hatch related, but it is theory. So I will be giving people theory, but I will also be giving some tips and tricks on how to obviously do foam for headwear because, you know, everybody likes foam on baseball hats and how to do some different foam ideas with motifs and stuff like that as well. That's going to be awesome. I can't wait. I've never really tried them. I've used your ESA thumb fonts, which stitch up beautifully, but this will be a whole new learning. Yeah, it, it'll be a whole new world. And after we're done this class, maybe you could do like a foam lesson. <laughs> maybe, yeah. Hey, uh, Jennifer? With the beginner's workshop, is that specific to... Uh, the question is, with the beginner's workshop, is that specific to a brand? And what I like to tell people is um, we will all be using the same software. Uh, the reason being is many years ago, I did do hands-on classes where everybody brought their own software to a live event. And it was a utter disaster because nobody knew where the buttons in their software were. So a lot of the theory that I will teach is universal. I mean... 
the, the, every software program has the same three stitch types. It's a running, a satin, and a fill. They all use underlay. They all use pull compensation. You path or map a design the same way, no matter what software you use. So yes, we will all use the same software program, which is the demo version of Hatch, so that you can see and do. Because I found that if people in a program are able to see which buttons I'm clicking and which numbers I'm typing in you know, at a specific point, then it's much easier than them following along trying to make a conversion from a program that's totally foreign to them that they don't own and then trying to translate that into their software. That just spells frustration. So you can take the information that I teach and integrate it into your current software because it is all theory, but we will be using the same software program. And would you say that's fair, Linda? I mean, that's the best way to learn. It's well, you're everybody's on the same page and um, it is the best way to learn. So I think people, you know, give it a try. And I think they'll really be hooked on Hatch. Yeah, yeah. And I, I agree with you. That's usually a lot of the times what happens. But I, I do also understand a lot of people are heavily invested in a program. That's true. And yeah. making making a transition like that is something that you may not want to do because, mm -hmm. you know, you and I, I respect and understand that. So it works both ways. Other questions? Awesome. Okay, we have winners' names, and this is for Cool Dad. Okay. Yeah, please sign up for YouTube. We are at uh, 35,900 and something people. So I'm hoping that tonight we'll hit 36,000. I always do my little happy dance, and Jennifer <laughs> always says, never do that again. But uh, <laughs> okay, so our YouTube winner is Mary Duell. So Mary Duel for YouTube. And to claim your prize, please send us an email at contact at embroiderylegacy.com. And on Facebook? The Facebook winner is Bob, and I'm going to spell the last name. It's S-C-H-I-N-G-H. Okay. Can people hear you, or do I have to remember all those letters? Okay. <laughs> it's Bob, and say the letters really slow. S-C-H-I-N-G-H. I know I'm going to butcher it if I try to say it. Okay, Jennifer's going to butcher it, and I can't even remember the, the letters that I just said, so there's no <laughs> use going there. Would you know how to pronounce that, Linda? That way we can blame you. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, Bob, you are one cool dad. Congratulations, and, Bob. Yeah, congratulations. And, uh, again, sign up for our Facebook groups, like our Facebook page. Uh, we do our best to, to try to assist to answer questions. What's Jennifer? Jennifer's laughing over there. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of funny. Th this has actually worked out perfectly for me because I was honestly really, really worried, Linda, that you and Jennifer were going to gang up on me, but because of the, yeah, because, it, of, yeah, because of the time delay and that she's not on live with us, it's worked out perfectly. <laughs> Yep. Always remind them about the Friday, Friday. Yep, Friday, Friday. We have a news. I guess we send out an email every week, but mm -hmm. uh, get involved with us. And, uh, you know, we, yeah, uh, we have lots of cool stuff. Cool. Awesome. We have fun. Well, thank, lots of fun. Awesome. Thank you very, very much, Linda. I so appreciate uh, your coming live with us, but I also appreciate everything you, you do within the groups. And these lessons are fantastic, and I know people are going to love them. Well, thanks for giving me the opportunity, and we're going to have some fun with this. Awesome. Good job, Linda. Thank Yay. you. Okay. Thanks, Jennifer. You're on camera next. <laughs> Did you? Okay. There's a lag here, but Linda just said, Jennifer, you're on camera next. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer, say no. I, I, I often said the only way I'm going to get Jennifer on camera is if, uh, do you remember Home Improvements, the guy with the fence? Mm-hmm. Okay, I can't remember his name right now, but I'll have to get Jennifer a little fence thing where she can just <laughs> pop her eyes up over it. So may, maybe then. Yeah, and then every week we'll lower the fence a little bit, maybe. <laughs> no, she's still not buying it. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for joining us, everybody. Thank you, Linda. And we will actually, just so you know, spoiler alert, we are going to have another Facebook Live next week at the same day, same time. So I got something really cool to show you next week as well. Awesome. So we should have a little, uh, I guess, announcement about that coming out tomorrow. So stay safe, guys. Blessings. And thank you very much. See you on Facebook. Bye-bye.